Is SAS Zombie Assault 4 still worth playing? This cooperative free-to-play top-down zombie shooter came out back in 2014 and is currently the latest game in the SAS series made by Ninja Kiwi. There's a few good reasons we're checking out this game whether you're a new player or veteran. I'll be going over things like the player count, new updates, my experience, and if this game is still even worth playing. Now, I haven't played this game in a few years, so I was just getting back into it, and I'm not a pro or anything, I used to play this game casually for a while, but it's pretty interesting as a returning player. It wasn't too hard getting used to the gameplay or the controls, they're pretty simple. You just have to remember things like all your different weapons, ammo types, currencies, loot boxes, abilities, and just your whole inventory. The depth in this game comes more from the numbers and your level and skills and stuff like that. Personally, I think it's a bit much. As you can see, I didn't make it too far, but I do like the progression and just the basis of this game, and not to mention, it actually gets pretty intense sometimes. It's a different type of intense if you're playing solo or co-op, but this game can get pretty damn hard sometimes, and suddenly this game is testing your wits and your reaction time. I played by myself to get the hang of things, and this can be a difficult game sometimes, but it's fun. Sometimes I didn't have a choice when playing by myself, and it just depends what game mode you're trying to play. I didn't really care to get back into the contracts, I think I used to play it back in the day, but you actually won't have too much of a problem for the multiplayer and the factions, which is the juicy part. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the player count so we know what we're dealing with. As you can see, it's not too good, but it's not too bad. For this type of game, this is manageable. If you take a look around April and September of 2022, there was a nice increase of players and that's because they released an update in both of those months. The player count slowly goes down after those updates, but I still think this isn't bad overall. This isn't even counting the mobile players. But like I said, you can find a multiplayer game pretty easily because the map is randomized. It's just annoying when you want to play a specific map so your only option is to back out over and over again. But how about the Faction War, and what even is the Faction War? This is that first update that came out back in April, and as you might have guessed, you join a faction and do faction related things. You pretty much have these 5 planets which are 5 different objectives. For example, you can power generators, kill bosses, or just simply kill enemies. As you do these different objectives, you're progressing and competing with the enemy factions. It's cool because it feels like you're always getting progress, even if you die. I actually like the factions and the idea of it. It seems like a good motivator for new and returning players, but the tough part about it is finding other players. Since there's five different objectives, that's five separate queues, so it's five times harder to find a player compared to the regular multiplayer. It's unfortunate, but unless you have a friend, you'll probably be playing the faction wars alone most of the time. It's pretty difficult by yourself, but at least you're always making progress. I think the factions are a good addition to the game, but let's say you find that underwhelming. Well, that's only the first update. This second update comes with a brand new map. This map is called Recovery, and it's pretty cool. Just look at these cars. I don't remember this game having cars, so correct me if I'm wrong, but either way, it's pretty damn fun. Your car can get turrets on it, and it feels badass driving around with your turrets blasting the zombies. There's also a nice variety because you're not only in the car, there's actually some human enemies to switch it up. Just like the cars, correct me if I'm wrong, but the enemy AI seems new or is at least rare in SAS. This level just felt like it had a bit of everything. It didn't feel too easy or too hard. I was even able to find some people to play with. I mostly bumped into people my level or higher. There's also some achievements to go with this update and the map. I think it's cool how this is the 8th map and I wonder if they'll ever release a 9th map and maybe even SAS 5 one day. But let's be honest, it took us forever to get these two updates so I'd recommend being very patient about SAS 5, but there are little updates and events in SAS 4. This game is never completely dead or dry, it's just never that alive. I know there's a fair amount of you who still care about this game and series, so you're anxiously waiting for an update or for SAS 5. I hate to be that guy, but I would recommend forgetting about SAS 5 until you hear some official news. Luckily, I'm a patient gamer, but I won't give you any false hope. I think it'll happen one day, but not any day soon. I think it would have so much hype if they did make SAS 5. I don't know how much longer they plan on updating SAS 4, I mean they've been updating BTD 5 for over a decade now, but if they did make SAS 5, then I'd be able to update my SAS Evolution video. 
And man, speaking of my SAS Evolution video, this has been my most successful video since I've returned to YouTube in these last couple of years. I was surprised when I realized no one made a video like that, and now I'm happily surprised that the video is doing so well. It's not only Balloons Tower Defense, you guys also want some SAS. But let me tell you what, if you guys show me enough support on this video, maybe I'll take a look back at the older SAS games. Is that a cool idea? Either way, it was fun checking out SAS 4. It's not a game I'm crazy about, but I'm glad it's not totally dead and still gets some updates. If you were anxiously waiting for a big game-changing update, I'm sure you might be a bit disappointed. To me, this isn't the type of game you'd play for hours on end. At best, it's a side game you'd play for about an hour every day or so. That being said, I'm glad this game got an update at all. I'm coming from a more positive perspective because this isn't a game I would normally play, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Do the veterans like or hate these updates? I would have no problem recommending this to a new player if this looks like your type of game. Just get ready for the grind if you want to get good, but would I recommend a longtime player getting back into SAS 4? I guess it depends. If you casually played this game like me and want any reason to hop back on, then sure. But if you are waiting for a game-changing update or anything crazy, then probably not. Not to mention this game being on mobile, and I know how strong the mobile community is, so I'm sure it's one of the better games you can play on your phone. Now my biggest hype for this series would be if Ninja Kiwi released SAS 5, but who knows when that'll happen. I'd recommend playing some similar games in the meantime, but the 10 year anniversary for SAS 4 is in 2024, so hopefully that means something. If not, well we've been waiting even longer for The Elder Scrolls 6 and Half-Life 3, so it could be worse. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I didn't plan on returning to SAS 4, but there was an update. And hey, you guys clearly mean business. I had no choice but to make this video. You guys are talking to me with your wallets. I actually regret not making this video longer to make more money. What can I say? I'm Jewish. But don't forget to drop a comment. There was a lot to talk about and I might have forgot about something. Maybe you should tell me to chill with the Jew jokes. I want to be a good boy for the new CEO at YouTube. Piece of shit. Well, leave a like so that CEO likes me and I can be his teacher's pet so I can become rich. I don't know why I'm risking monetization on this video at the very end. I at least deserve a like for that, right? You should also subscribe because you made it this far in the video, which must mean you like me, which also means I like you, so we should stay in touch. I also don't upload too much, so I won't spam your sub feed. Come on, I know you want to. But if you just want to check out my other SAS or Ninja Kiwi videos, you can check on the screen. I still never would have guessed that SAS Evolution video would have gained that much attention. I feel the love from the community. Thanks for the support guys. Peace.